Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na Monday, country Sunday, number eight day for this month of August 2022. My name na Kapo Daniel, the Deputy Defense Chief and the spokesman of the Ambazonian Governing Council, aka Sense Pass King, wuna own countryman. Wuna welcome to our daily podcast. This one na a program where we bring una the truth. We will bring una fact based analysis for help we as we worker for this journey to our freedom, to the independence of Ambazonia. Good people of the former British Southern Cameroons, citizens of Ambazonia, Diangote. It don't be forced for speak in pigeon following a so-called pigeon debate where it don't get them with equinox. My fellow country people them. Kapo Daniel, the Ambazonian FBI, Lukong, una own countryman, sends past king it don't succeed for bring La Republic du Cameroon elevated slaves like Diongote for finally can talk for una for pigeon. A language where they don't bring a me being a debased, make it being a saying I've talked for foolish people where they need a reason. That means, say, the 90% of our population where they talk them for pigeon, say them being a all na for full level. A people the way they put them for outside when they do want to discuss important talk. People like Diangote, when they be the enter for village for talk about development or anything we concern our people, they would drive one for outside because we need to hear English. It be be all na just an excuse. The problem in no be na pigeon, the problem in no mean na say una be foolish, na just say the run the take una for full for so long. Diongote, where it be very well cultured and well behaved, an intellectual, somebody of a caliber would have never been the prime minister of Cameroon. The only reason why they could give such a, such a position to a person who is articulate like Diangote is because Ambazonia have risen up. Diangote have never been known in his life like a CPDM scavenger who go around to speak for poor beer, campaign and spread money around for beer. He had always been an intellectual, unlike those before like Simon Achidiachu was appointed simply because he was a political animal, one of the best political scavengers we have, somebody who would campaign for beer, who would bring up ideology of the CPDM to the common man, who took upon his own cousin, Nee John Fundi, in debate on behalf of a foreign leader, Mr. Paul Bia Bivondo, the killer-in-chief, the chief terrorist from La Republic du Cameroon, Bulu Betilan. Diangote was there because now Paul Bia needs somebody who could speak to the international partners like a professional, speak to the IMF and the international banks. This is not to say I'm giving credit to Diongote. He is there because of you, the Ambazonian people, who have risen to fall no more. They needed him. That's why they put him there. And he could have only been there because Ambazonia have turned the tide internationally. The international community do not want to borrow money to Cameroon. The international community do not want to support La Republic to Cameroon. The German government have stopped all her military assistance to La Republic du Cameroon. The Americans have withdrawn support that is essential even to the survivor of America in fighting global terrorism against Boko Haram away from La Republic du Cameroon. The American government have sanctioned and cut off Cameroon from economic privileges in dealing in trade in the Agoa Treaty with the United States of America to punish Cameroon for her illegal act- activities in Ambazonia. The America have gone further and sanctioned specific members of the Cameroon government without publication and banning them from coming and traveling to the United States of America because of Cameroon illegal operations and terrorism tactics in Ambazonia. The United Kingdom Parliament have called out Cameroon in their parliament for their barbarism and the assimilation of the Ambazonian people. 
the Ambazonian struggle have been attempted to be mocked, to be made ridiculed. We are focused to validate and empower the people that have been ban abandoned, marginalized, subjugated, and declared to be non-existent by La Republic to Cameroon. We are merely an inconvenient. Just like the European system have designed the world economy for Africans, for their best to migrate to Europe and America to help build their economy. Ambazonia is being seen the same with La Republic. For our best of our best to be transferred to Yaoundé to work for them. Our people to go there and do John Massey work as taxi drivers, as mechanics, as house girl, boy boy for Yaoundé. We are the new slaves. We are the new black. This time it is black on black. People like Diongote are there because of you, because you have risen up. They have ignored you, they have insulted you at a time when our people were rising. After the big speech of Joseph Weber, La Republic du Cameroon rejected even what they call the Bamenda cloth, the regalia of the grass field land within their parliament, calling it a misfit within that institution of La Republic du Cameroon House of Assembly. At one point, you were called Anglophones to mimic that you were British people or whatever they may want to twist your identity to be. The Pigeon English have been made mockery, have been ridiculed, not talk for people for quarter, not talk for people where you need to go any far. Today, ladies and gentlemen, Djongote have taken the pride to announce on his page and on Twitter and use it as a big campaign to come and talk for Una for Pigeon. A language where they that minimize them, they that reduce them for dust. This one na a big surrender for La Republic to Cameroon. It don't show them, say, we don't give una value. Those who are the top pigeon, it don't mean that we be foolish. The informal education, the education for learning on how to take care of your family, how to manage wealth, generate wealth from working subsistence agriculture, struggling to make ends meet, develops more knowledge in our people than some people who have studied in the secular education. Most of them have just simply studied reputation, cram work, and have no mastery of any skill in life. Most of our people who haven't gone to formal education have learned through life experience what others would never have even in their studies in a formal educational settings. Our medicine people who call herbalists who have been treating our people in the village from malaria, who have been treating them from mosquito bites, from snake bites, have developed all grass and combinations of grass to treat both viruses and germs, are far more better than some who have gone to school for medical help who can only administer help like pharmacists, even though they call themselves doctors. Most of them have come back to become scammers, perform performing surgery, simply to, re to, to extort money from people who did not need them. Our people have become experiment to those who speak the English language because they know you cannot debate, you cannot talk to them, you cannot challenge them because of the perceived foolishness of the man where they talk pigeon. Today, Diangote, the number one for Paul Bia Bivondo, the chief thief, the colonizer, he done come down for a high horse, for can't talk for Equinox, for which we call them, say, a debate for pidgin language. In that debate, Diongote spent a time for make mockery of the Ambazonian people using Sako Ikome, the corn artist and failed pastor, where he done try to hijack the struggle. My trip to Boya may be the main topic for Diongote a debate for inside Equinox, we are going to want spare our people and not give it that validation for even play the audio for those he debates. He spent the time for toxic my trip to Boya. It will be a scam and an insult for the Ambazonian people. Yes, it was. And that is what the legitimate Ambazonian leadership have been saying all along. The legitimate Ambazonian activists have called my trip to Boya a scam. My country people, if you remember very much, how the French are dealing with the African leaders to keep them where they are today. Each year, the French government 
will pull one African leader who is soon to death, almost expire or expired good, and drag them to France, parade them walking like dead men walking on the street in front of the French media, put them to be interviewed with stupid questions, and those people respond stupidly. My brothers and sisters, all those things in the mindset of French people are all big game of political manipulation. The French people want to justify their colony and their policy against Africa by using those people to show their population that Africa is made up of very stupid people who cannot reason. That such old people who are walking dead are still the type of people Africa wants as their leader because we are foolish village people who believe in chiefs and the respect of elders irrespective of whether they are stupid or not. That is the image they want to paint about us because they need that deception for their population to accept what they are doing in Africa. It's the same thing with the white man during slavery. They have to deceive their population that Africans were like monkeys, we were savages, we were people who eat the, the flesh of our enemies. They deceive their own population to maintain that illegal and immoral subjugation of our own people and the exploitation of our people. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not different from La Republic. For La Republic to continue to maintain control of Ambazonia, to continue to push the agenda of one Cameroon, they need to use people like Samuel Ikome Sako, thieves and con men, to steal your money, to validate them and prop them up through the HD and the Swiss talk and through other means and propaganda so that they will use it to show their people that Ambazonians are corrupt. Ambazonian care less. And somewhere it comes, Sako knows exactly this game. Just like Pobia will behave like an old village pa playing into the French media and the French forensic to define Ambaz Cameroon the way the French people want him to define it. Somewhere it Sako, somewhere it comes, Sako is doing the same thing in Ambazonia, trying to behave like a fool. Somebody calling himself president when he knows he's not president. They are doing all these stupid things to show the Cameroon French citizens that we are stupid and the international community. They stole money from my trip to Boya. Not because they could not get bribe from La Republic or they were not getting bribe. Chris Anu have testified that they are receiving good money from La Republic. But they have to do so to validate what La Republic, the Cameroon Francophone, thinks of us, Anglo fools. Today, I'm by Zamzams. That is the image they have for us. And that is the image they want us to play into. That is why, for the first time, when Diangote have descended upon his grand horse, his white horse, to come down and talk to the people they have ignored for so long in a language they understand, to speak in pidgin, he spent his time using Sako Ikome to show the image of what Ambazunia is. Because Sako Ikome is a failure. Sako Ikome is a shame, somebody who have brought only scandal and shame for Ambazonia. He make ridicule of the idea of us fighting for positions that do not exist, calling ourselves governments, this and that, that and this, because those things were all stupidity. Those things were never meant to push us forward. And those who are intelligent amongst us, who continue to follow that bang wagon, are not stupid they know exactly the game they are playing yes of course there are those who are really corrupt who thought that they could buy through that system positions in la republic but even they themselves have all withdrawn sako ikome is left quiet and lonely in his own corner but just like any other con, con men if they knock a deal for you one time they believe they will always knock it another time he will never go away Chris Anu and the Cabal and all those who have played that game, for you to have sell your conscience to that level, there is no turning back. Ambazonia, the corn and the wheat must grow together. On the harvest day, the farmer must come and wheat the wheat and allow the corn to produce its fruits for her children to eat. A word to a wise is sufficient. Do not make us to look stupid, foolish, zamzam. Oh, Anglo fool, we are better than that. Ambazonia have risen to fall no more. If you are hearing my voice today, wherever you are, if your own dignity and worth 
have been played down or reduced by La République du Cameroon, colonialism policies and propaganda, adjunct provocateurs, spoilers and facilitators. I'm here today as a voice of he in the desert telling you the dawn of day have come. Ambazonia have risen. Our grassroots have found their worth. They have known their worth. Like a pulpit, we have pulled them up to see themselves for who they are. Intelligent, beautiful people with wonderful culture. We are building our own economy, connecting villages to villages in a way that will empower our people, not to feed a system of a so-called ring road that has one objective, to transfer wealth away from our villages, connecting them to city centers that will act like the foreign base colonial cities where the African economy was meant to power and fit. We are building an economy where we will be producing horticulture, producing in plantations, not to feed the West, but to feed our own. We are building a system where we are going to train our doctors to build hospitals, to treat our own people, not because it will make them worth, but because we want to elevate the savings of a common man to be the top priority of our people. We are reinstalling, reinstituting a system that will honor our workers, those who work hard for the economy, those who our money will be worthless without their njamanjama, without their tomatoes and their pepper, where they go work on for farm. We are building a system that is going to empower and enrich those who today are at the bottom, those who are invisible, those who have to stay out when they discuss about important matters, those who cannot hear or listen to the debates in the so-called parliament that are made in a French and foreign language. They will have to speak to you in your language. Tomorrow, you have a voice to speak to them because now that they speak in pidgin, now that they can communicate to you, you are important. This your important will only grow higher. Ambazonia have risen to fall no more. The rejected stone have become the cornerstone. As we always tell our forces and our people in the grassroots, we are not building an Ambazonia for the diaspora to come and rule over you. We do not seek positions over you. We seek to empower you to emerge and become your own leader, your own lawmakers, your own governors. We are here to serve with honor and dignity. Those are the principles we work with in the Ambazonian Governing Council for Ambazonia. We are all one, one for all, all for one. Capo Daniel signing off.